What's going on guys, Serious Serpent here with another PUBG update, this time we're on update 0 0.5.30. Unfortunately I missed 0 0.5.29 due to going out and seeing Jim Jeffries, which is amazing. If you haven't heard of this uh, comedian, he's an Australian comedian, great guy. Also got a tattoo, which will be up on my Instagram if any of you guys want to check it out and see what I got done by one of my friends. He's a great tattoo artist. Uh, I also, yeah, working and going on nights out, so I've been very busy for the past week. And uh, was meant to cover the update, didn't really get a chance. And then uh, there's also a Call of Duty update, which I didn't get a chance to cover either. But anyways, let's just get into it. This nerf, I am calling this the vehicle nerf. As the vehicle from weapon of mass destruction to balloon. <laughs> Drivable balloons. <laughs> Starting off, we have a damage to a vehicle body and significant damage to wheels when targeted with gunfire. That's going to be taking them out a lot easier, as well as popping the tires. Because, you know, that's that's really all you want to do. You want to pop the tires and kind of make them stop. But to try and take the full vehicle down, if you're playing in solos, is it's not the easiest to have to say. You have to put a lot of gunfire, especially towards the end of the circles. It's not really what you want to be doing. I literally had a game, this game, that I'm shown right now. I died at the end because I had to shoot at a vehicle. Uh, we have increased vehicle damage when successfully targeted with a grenade. I always thought grenades did alright damage anyways. I didn't really try that much except for like one time I threw a grenade on a vehicle to blow it up and it blew up instantly so uh, I could see how that changes the game. Uh, boat driver and passenger will suffer increased injuries when crashing into objects or other vehicles. Again, nerfing them from drivable weapons along with the slight reduction to player damage uh, when struck by a vehicle. So it's you, you crash a lot in the game. I don't, I don't care what anybody says. Uh, so it's just like stupid little bumps that will get you and you'll take damage and you're just like, why? But um, although I haven't really crashed severely that take damage. I take get little times where you take little bits of damage and it's just really annoying. But uh, the slight reduction to uh, people being hit by vehicles, that seems to be a lot because my mate rammed right into someone when we were trying to take a crate uh, yesterday and he didn't really go anywhere. Uh, but it's also good to see that people aren't going to be driving fucking weapons of mass destruction, as I keep saying. Uh, there's been some optimization changes. So they continue to optimize controller input lag, which is always good. Uh, and they've also done a visual and radical improvement for the Xbox One. Uh, that's, I'm assuming that's the original Xbox One because it was grand on the X. I know it was because I used to hate holographic sites. And then I went on to the Xbox uh, One X and I didn't think it was that bad. It was just, it was very blurry and like it wasn't as sharp. So that's kind of, that really, app really applies to the original Xbox and the Xbox One S. So we got some bug fixes and one that I've been giving out about for ages. They've resolved the issue where uh, inventory may highlight the wrong column when looting. That was That's so annoying. And then you have to keep pressing down to somehow move back onto the column that you're meant to be on because it's showing you on. Uh, it's just, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, they've also made the sensitivity a default for the VSS as the four times sensitivity. So if you're changing your sensitivities, whatever the VSS, your, whatever your four times is set to, it will apply to the VSS permanently. Uh, also, with the last update, the auto run was added, uh, which not many people really know how to do, and it's not really kind of put there unless you look at the patch notes, which is you double click the left stick when you're like standing still. I use that feature so much now, it's great. But uh, it says auto run is disabled when aiming down sights, but I've ran along with aiming down sights. So I don't know if it's the opposite way, if you're already aiming down sights, you can't start running, but uh, you can aim down sights and have the auto run on, which kind of. It makes it a lot easier to not be kind of double sticking it. That's that's a weird way to say double sticking. But um, yeah, again, just little changes. Uh, players will now, this is the update uh, in the last update, that video that I did, I was talking about the uh, weapon changing from the minimap, from pressing up if you're pressing up on the D-pad while you're in your minimap, zoom in or like uh, you're pressing, I don't know, what is it, Y or whatever to remove a marker. It will change your weapons, so they fix that. So when you press up on the D-pad, it will no, uh, well on the mini map, it will no longer change to your pistol or your melee weapon. Uh, they've also removed uh, when removing the marker, you will no longer switch to your primary and secondary weapon. So that's good. Uh, they've also fixed uh, an issue where the crosshairs is not display correctly after player reconnected to the game. Haven't experienced that because I haven't really crashed in God knows how long at this point. They've really like they fixed the optimization, so. In the last patch, there wasn't really that much other than the auto run added. There was just like a few little bug fixes and stuff. So yeah, it wasn't actually that bad that I missed it. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to uh, 
like and subscribe and share to let other people know what's in this update. And uh, stay tuned for more PUBG videos. I know it's my tips and tricks video is doing very well compared to every other one of my videos. So uh, thank you guys for following. Thank you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Be awesome. Stay awesome. And as always, have an awesome day.